Hey there Mountaineer fans and welcome into our final spring 2015 edition of Talking About Preseason. I am joined today by three members of the inaugural SVC Outdoor Track and Field team. From your right to left we have junior Cameron Michael Curtis, senior Victor Velasquez, and sophomore Skylar McGuire. Guys, thank you all for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Victor, let's start with you. Talk about how this track and field preseason has been different to your cross-country preseasons under Coach Newton. Well, they're basically the same, just a couple of different tweaks. We do a more strength workout, we do a lot of gym and stuff like that, but it's basically pretty similar. Cameron, what was the biggest thing you got out of this preseason that you think has made you or your teammates better? It's a lot of intense workouts in the gym because we weren't able to go outside due to freezing weather, so that constant intensity really builds you up quick. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I feel for you guys. <laughs> Skyler, how do you think this team has handled the preseason, both having to train outside in the cold and the limited gym space that you have to work with? Um, I think considering the circumstances, I think that we handled it very well and it's only going to make us stronger as a team. Victor, has there been any one team member who has really turned the heads of the rest of the team with how they've performed during this preseason training? I believe that it's more like a team effort. I don't think like everyone has done more than anyone else. I think we all work pretty hard all together. Cameron, SVC has had non-traditional track before, but now it is a varsity track and field team. Talk about how special that is to you and your teammates to be on the inaugural varsity team. Well, before we were always putting in hard work and, you know, we could run and go to track meets and all that, which is good, but this time it counts a little bit more and so it's, it's, nice. it's nice. Skylar, what do you expect to see out of yourself and out of this team throughout the spring? Um, well, there's only two women on the team this year, but um, I hope to you know, run my 1,500 time faster than I did last year, and as a team, I just hope we can all knock seconds off our times. Victor, is there any one meet on your schedule that you or your teammates are particularly looking forward to? We're looking forward for the first one, actually. We wonder how the weather's going to be, and we want to see how good in shape we are. Cameron, when the summer comes and you look back on the season, what one or two things will you be able to point to for being the reason that you or your team has had success throughout the spring? I think it's the all the intervals that we've had to do, the um, 200s, 300s, 400s. It, that constant repetition really helps with speed and endurance for cross country later on. Skylar, how excited are you and or the team to finally get off of the roads and onto a real track. Very excited. Uh, running on the roads really, you know, hinders your knees and your legs and so getting on a track will be very nice again. <laughs> Victor, do you have any personal goals that you want to reach here in your senior season? I just want to do my best and do what we know how to do there. It's just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Coming off that conference championship, you guys know what winning feels like, so hopefully you can carry it into the spring here a little bit. Cameron, talk about the chemistry amongst the guys' relay team. Are you all close, or do you have anything outside of practice that you do to get closer and in sync with each other, or was that bond pretty much already there after the cross-country season? I feel like we're pretty well bonded, and cross-country definitely helped with that. So, so no dropping the batons, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Skyler, what would you like to see most out of yourself this spring? Um, I would just I would really like to knock seconds off my time and, and run as fast as I can and keep up with the the other athletes on the, the track. Very good. Well, guys, I gave you the questions beforehand. I have a couple follow-ups that I didn't show to you. This is a track and field team. It's comprised mostly of people who are going to compete in track, but you do have a couple team members who are going to compete in field events, notably the long jump. If you each had to pick a field event, what would you choose? Cameron? I think I'd go for the high jump. You got some ops, do you? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I'd be willing climb, to right? train. You have to jump on a big mat, so it's not all that bad. Yeah. I'll do the shot, but it's not as stressful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I did high jump or long jump in high school, so I think I would probably do long jump again. I'd like to try it out. So makes sense. Who on this team would you say would be the best to be partaking in the javelin? <laughs> Um, Corey, Corey Barkham. Yeah, <laughs> really, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> Even though the javelin is probably twice as tall as him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Kenny. Maybe Kenny. Maybe. All right. Final question: Who on this team would you never want to see have a javelin in their hand? <laughs> uh, Mallory. <laughs> 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 Unanimous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, well, thank you all for joining us. The Mountaineers are set to open up their season this weekend down in Boston with the Tufts University Snowflake Invitational. And you can find results for that meet and all of the Mountaineers meets throughout the spring on svcathletics.com. Once again, thank you all for joining us and good luck this spring. Thank you. Thank you.